Hi, I'm Brad Barnett, president of BFS. If you've seen part one of this three-part series on credit scores in early education, then welcome back. If you haven't seen part one, it's available for you now if you'd like to take a look before we move forward. Next is improving your credit score through understanding their systems. Your credit score contains five components. Here are the five components and their degree of importance by percentage. Number one is payment history. That's 35% of the score. Here, the credit bureaus are looking for mortgages, credit cards, installment loans, retail accounts, adverse public records like bankruptcy lawsuits, judgments, liens, garnishments, past due payments, etc. If you have past due payments, the credit bureaus will look at A, the amount past due, B, the amount of time past due, and C, the number of accounts that are past due. Number two, amounts owed. Amounts owed makes up 30% of your credit score. Credit bureaus are reviewing the type of accounts you use and the amount of credit you're utilizing relative to the credit available to you. For example, all else being equal, a person carrying balances equaling 95% of credit available on 10 personal credit cards for a total of $50,000 outstanding debt will have a lower credit score than a person carrying 50% balances on 3 credit cards for a total of $10,000 outstanding debt. Okay, the next one is length of credit history. Now, length of credit history makes up 15% of your score. Credit bureaus are examining specific account types how long the accounts have been open, and the level and timing of activity within the account. Amazingly, for credit scoring purposes, it appears that it's actually better to have credit accounts with outstanding balances within reason than it is to have no accounts open or no credit history. Okay? Being debt free can actually lower your credit score. I have a friend who is a very astute, very successful former international banker. He has done business in more than 20 countries and has lived in nine of those countries. This is a person with exceptional success, wealth, and highly responsible money management practices. He was turned down when he applied for a credit card at the very bank where he worked. Reason? no U.S. credit history. Okay, this is the end of this second installment of our three-part series on credit scores. Installment three of this series is available to you now on this social media platform. Hope to see you in a minute. If not, you can see much more at bfsinc.net. Best to you. Take care.